G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. Today we're back at Coast to Coast Reef. It's one of the tanks we featured last year and unfortunately there's been a bit of an outbreak of Aptasia. Today we're going to be trying a new form of biological control that we've never ever used on Gallery Aquatica TV before. We're going to try this system and we're going to show you the results. So let's just have a look at the tank before we look at the reason why we're here. So it's a real mix of stony corals and soft corals. We've got corella morphs, mini maxi anemones. This large Acropora colony is doing really well on the top of this bombing. Um, there's lots of other Acropora, bird's nest and Montipora. And in general, the corals are looking really healthy. Some of the colors are this Montipora with the blue coming up through the red polyps is sensational. The coralline algae in this tank is doing great. It's powered by three Gen 3 radions. There's a couple of uh, wave makers, it's not huge flow. The aquascape is quite open and so it doesn't really require a heap of flow around the rock work. And if you were to look at this half of the tank, you probably wouldn't even notice the problem. There are a couple of Aptasia popping up amongst the corals, but they're not really overtaking. And it's really the corals which dominate on this side. And we can even see there's some uh, baby torch which have popped up sexually reproduced in this tank. Let's have a look at the second half of the tank and we'll show you where the problem lies. So here we are on the problem side of the tank. This right side is absolutely decimated by Aptasia. We have these two big rocks which were previously domes with holes for frag plugs that were uh, home to a heap of different types of zoas. It was a real mix of colour. Each of these zoa gardens was thriving and they looked beautiful. But now, all we have is what I'd have to call an Aptasia desert. It's effectively nothing but Aptasia and they're really out of control and we need to fix this problem. So let's talk about the things that we've tried that have led us to this new system of biological control. So we've tried a variety of systems to control the Aptasia in this tank. And my favorite system that I normally use is peppermint shrimp. And we tried 10 peppermint shrimp in this tank. And unfortunately, something in this tank has been eating the shrimp. And uh, there's no peppermint shrimp left, unfortunately. And the 10 uh, that we've put in here have really done nothing to help the situation. We also tried a copper band butterfly and copper bands can be really effective. Sometimes they will uh, eat some of the other corals in the tank and they can be a problem for that reason. But the, the biggest issue with copper bands is that they can be a relatively touchy fish and the copper band that we added into this tank really wasn't able to mix it with the gold rim tang and even the rabbit fish were giving it a bit of a hard time. So we had to remove it before it was killed. We've also tried uh, topical applications. So treatments such as Aptasia X by Red Sea. And it is a very good Aptasia treatment, but when you're dealing with the quantity that we have in this tank, it's really time consuming and almost impossible to eradicate an established population like this. So today we're going to be trying something a little bit out of the box, a little bit different. Let's have a look at what we're going to use to control these Aptasia. So in this bag, we have our secret weapon. And it's actually a type of fish. I've never tried this fish for Aptasia control, but I've had lots of people tell me lately that they're excellent. Apparently they're pretty good at not eating other coral in the tank. Uh, they're very hardy, they get along with everything, they're a beautiful fish. It is a stripey. Stripies are commonly found around our local area. So southeast Queensland, they're, they're very common fish. And you often see them off piers, off the rocks, uh, in and around the estuaries that lead to the ocean. And because they're a common fish, they are something that people will sometimes catch and put in their home aquariums. And for that reason, they do have a little bit of a reputation of being a 
a bit of a, a nasty little bugger, but in reality, they're not too bad. Um, I expect that he's going to get along well with the fish in this tank. I don't think we're going to have any aggression problems. Um, it's also uh, unlikely that he's going to go for any of the coral in this tank. I'm probably most worried about the zoas. I have heard that sometimes these guys will pick at zoas, so I'll be interested to see exactly how he goes in this tank. But because the zoas have been uh, so decimated by the Aptasia, uh, I don't think it's going to be a problem. So it'll be really interesting to see how this stripey goes over the next couple of weeks and if we see a reduction in the Aptasia. So I'm just going to stage him in and um, we'll see how he looks in the tank. So over the last 30 minutes we've been acclimating this stripey to the new tank water. So we've slowly added water from the tank to his bag and now we're ready to introduce him. I'm not going to put any of his bag water in. Okay, here we go. Spectacular, straight under a rock. Our stripey is in the tank and he's hiding at the moment, but otherwise he's looking pretty good. And it'll be really interesting when we come back on the next episode of Gallery Aquatica TV to show you how he's going. I do have my concerns about the coral. I'm a little bit worried that he's going to nip at things here and there. I'm a little bit worried about the fish dynamic. They've been doing so well with the fish that are in here that I'd really hate to have a fish come in and interrupt that. But most importantly, I'll be really interested to see how the Aptasia population fares with the addition of a stripey. Everything that I've been told by local reefers is that stripies are excellent for Aptasia, but this is going to really be the proof. So, we'll come back in next week's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV to show you the results. I'm Kevin the Fish Guy, happy reefing! That's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you've subscribed to our channel so you don't miss an episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing!